were going to a family wedding and it was much excitement in the house as you can imagine. Elizabeth had gone upstairs to wash her face, suddenly heard this banging on the stairs and she literally fell into the room where I was ironing and said, what's happening to me? And I just caught her as she fell and thought, it looks like she's having a stroke, but, but it can't be a stroke. She's 13, how can she? I just thought it was like a really bad headache, but it wasn't. Elizabeth asked if she was going to die. Couldn't answer that question. She had a clot in the brain. And that's when they said they were going to operate. the worst bit. <laughs> All I really remember is I couldn't use half my body, like I was slurring, I couldn't really see very well, I was stuck in bed which is horrible. I just thought okay this has happened to me, I've just got to get on with it. So we went from her being hoisted out of bed on day one to by day seven she was walking herself around a table. She just, every day, and she just wanted to keep going. She kept saying, when's the next physio? When are they coming again? She was incredible. Every moment I could, I'd try to walk, like walk into the toilet. I always knew that I could, and I would. Then the real hard work starts. She struggled sometimes to find words and put sentences together. It's difficult for people to understand why she's different, and particularly at that age, you know, 13-year-old girl at school, you just want to fit in, you just want to be like everybody else, and suddenly she wasn't. I was thinking, why did this happen to me? I shouldn't be here, I should... Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Elizabeth had stopped socialising completely at this point. She wasn't going out with her friends. She was in and out of school. So we asked the, the Brownie leader if she would let Elizabeth come and help. And it was amazing for her because she just felt like she belonged somewhere. Elizabeth starting driving is very scary. <laughs> driving like is the thing you do when you reach a certain age and everyone does it. At first I was so scared, but now it's like I can do it and it's quite fun. So Elizabeth's desperate to get to work. Like most teenagers, she wants to have her own money. Our local pub, we're quite friendly with the landlady and um, just said if ever there's any jobs coming up, you know, would you be interested in, in giving Elizabeth a go? So she started off just glass collecting, progressed now to she can take the food orders, she can take food out, and it's just working out what you can do and how to do it, and not put the obstacles in the way. She's been through so much, and she's come out the other side of it, and she's still bright, bubbly, she is who she is and she does everything she wants to do now. I never thought I'd go through like a point where I'd be so low that I like didn't even want to get out of bed. Going through that is really difficult but I've done it and like I'm going to continue to keep on pulling through and keep going and stuff. You're amazing. Thanks. Thanks.